Good afternoon from BBC London News, I'm Sean Fletcher. Large companies based in the city are being encouraged to work with smaller firms to try to spread wealth and employment beyond the square mile. A scheme has been launched to help bring buyers and sellers together. So far, 500 businesses have taken part, as Matt Cook reports. For many, learning just one other language can be hard enough, but this team in central London speaks over 160 different languages and dialects. The company sells translation services to banks and law firms. They convert written text from English into Arabic, French and German, but in recent years there's been demand from new countries. In particular Russian language. We see a lot of activity from the Russian market, so there's a lot of interest from the city firms um, in, in this particular market, so whether it's the financial sector, insurance sector, or even oil and gas. The company is taking part in a scheme called Ready to Supply. Funded by the City of London Corporation, it helps small and medium-sized firms pitch to the big players of the square mile. Workshops and a step-by-step -step guide are designed to open doors to lucrative contracts. It definitely helped us to identify opportunities. Our confidence grew dramatically, which is, I think, probably one of the most important things for any business. For years, the city has been the driving force behind London's economy. Those behind this scheme say it's a chance to spread wealth and employment beyond the financial district. Quite often city businesses um, procure in very particular ways. We know that a lot of the time it's about networks, it's about who you know and how you can break into the supply chain. It's about being able to pitch your service as a small business in, in the appropriate way. £300,000 has been invested in the project. It's not a guarantee of success, but for some, the help has translated into a financial profit. Matt Cook, BBC London News. A quick look at the weather following today's sunny intervals. It'll be warm overnight with fairly clear skies. On Sunday morning, it'll be bright and sunny before a hot afternoon with temperatures reaching 29 degrees Celsius. That's it. We'll be back tomorrow evening. But for me and the rest of the team, goodbye.